Hello, welcome to our church service of morning prayer for Friday the 5th of March 2021. Uh, I hope you've got your Bible with you because the essence of the service is that we read the Bible in a calm and unhurried manner and try to allow God to speak to us through it. And for that purposes, you'll need to pause this video from time to time. So if I'm on the video machine at the far side of the room, make sure you've got the remote in your hand. Let's ask God to come into our hearts and onto our lips by his Holy Spirit. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The hymn which Stephen has chosen for our service today is A Purple Robe, A Crown of Thorn uh, by Timothy Dudley Smith with music by David Wilson, who was the vicar at the church where I served my first curacy. A purple robe, a crown of thorn, a reed in his right hand. Before the soldier's spite and scorn, I see my Saviour stand. He bears between the robe and God the weight of all our woe. A stumbling figure bowed and scarred, I see my Saviour go. Fast the cross is spreading span, high in the sunlit air. All the unnumbered sins of man I see my Saviour bear. He hangs by whom the world was made beneath the darkened sky. The everlasting ransom paid, I see my Saviour die. He shares on high his Father's throne, who once in mercy came. For all his love to sinners shown, I sing my Saviour's name. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalms set for today are Psalms 40 and 41, with a preference for doing 41 if you only have time for one. Uh, it's a four-verse hymn with a praise bit tacked on at the end, which is probably due to it being the end of that particular book of psalms rather than that particular psalm in particular. And it's a psalm uh, written by someone who's spent most of his life caring for others and then discovers when he's not so well himself that others are not so good at caring for him. And he cries out to the Lord. Uh, here's a metrical version of it. Blessed are those who care for the weak, for the Lord will care for them. He will sustain them when they're sick and restore them once again. Blessed are those who care for the poor, for the Lord preserves their soul. When they're in need, he will be there, and will guard them, keep them whole. O oh Lord, have mercy, heal me when I sin. I know you're with me, and I know I'll rise again. Enemies come when I'm ill in bed, but they're really here to spy. Whispers and tales would have me dead in my sick bed where I lie. Even the friend I once used to trust, he has turned against my face. But, oh my God, you're kind and just, and I seek you for your grace. Oh Lord, have mercy, heal me when I sin. I know you're with me, and I know I'll rise again.
and you might like to pause and reflect on those two psalms in your own Bible. The Old Testament reading is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verses 1 to 16. Please would you pause the video and read that in your own Bible. Well, I think that if you focus on what Jeremiah says about idols, then there's nothing particularly striking in the passage. But if you focus on what he says about the living God, then there's an awful lot to get your teeth into. Uh, the uh, verse 7 of the passage uh, was quoted in the book of Revelation uh, in the canticle, Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God. Uh, and here's that canticle in a metrical form. The Gospel reading is St John chapter 7 verses 14 to 24. Uh, Jesus arise, arrives at the feast uh, and begins to teach. Please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. Jesus, of course, is someone very special, and we can use the Benedictus, the song Zechariah sang when his infant son was born, as a way of celebrating Jesus in our lives and responding to this Bible reading. Here it is. Guidance from the dark into his light. 
And so let's turn to prayer. Let's come before the Lord our God in praise and thanksgiving and also in petitions laying before him the things on our own hearts. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the way that he taught so clearly in the Bible. We thank you for his death to give life to us. We thank you uh, that his purple robe and crown of thorns were for our salvation and brought us into your presence. Grant that we may revere him in our hearts all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you that the psalm reflects uh, that when we have spent our lives in trying to look after others, and then discovered in our illness that others are not so good at looking after us, we can turn to you and know the comfort and consolation of your love the fact that we have a bright future with you and the fact that we can face the future with equanimity. Grant that these lessons may stick with us in our own lives through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Lord, we worship you, the living God, the one who is completely different from the idols in Jeremiah's day, the one who created the heavens and who stretched it out, the one who is righteousness and justice. Thank you, Lord, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please put before God the things on your own heart and pause the video to do so. The Collect, one of the special prayers for this week. Almighty God, you see that we have no power of ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body, and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And please join us in praying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so as our psalm concluded today. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.